Connecting Central Texas. This is 25 News. Hi there everyone, I'm Todd Unger and here's a look at your top stories midweek. The family of Michael Dean is speaking out. On Tuesday, President Trump mentioned Dean by name at his executive order signing in regards to police reform and brutality. Dean's widow, his common law wife, Laquisha Buster, tells us she's appreciative of reform but wishes it hadn't taken so long for that to happen. Their family wants justice in Dean's specific case. He was shot and killed by a former Temple officer in December. The father was unarmed. That officer, Carmen DeCruz, is set to be back in court on manslaughter charges at the end of the month. He's no longer with Temple Police. COVID-19 cases are surging in Texas, Florida, and Arizona as each state reopens. Closer to home in central Texas, Bell County saw two additional deaths from the illness on Tuesday. Brazos County saw more than 100 new cases on Wednesday, now bringing their total to well over 1,000. Facial coverings and washing your hands, along with avoiding crowded public places if you're over the age of 65, are all moves being strongly encouraged by local health departments. Now it's time for a check on your First Alert 25 forecast. All right, thanks, Todd. Let's take a look at that 10-day forecast showing temperatures into the middle 90s Thursday, Friday on into Father's Day weekend. Lows at night into the 70s, so humidity values are starting to come up. Maybe an isolated storm threat here or there, but I think the key word here is isolated. Most of us probably staying dry, but at least there is that slight chance of rain as we roll into next week, and those highs will remain in the 90s.